I think it's wild how one side can go so smoothly and the other side can give me all the problems in the world. I buy these super expensive sockets that's just a hug bolts so like issues like this don't happen and you can get any bolt but for some reason they keep slipping they don't want to work and these bolts are just like in there so I'm gonna try sticking with WD-40 and see what we can do thank God for WD-40 please sponsor me what is going on guys I hope you guys are having a wonderful day today is the long-awaited rear disc conversion plate swap so on the driver's side I was fiddling around with it for a couple hours yesterday just to see like how it fits because they have one write-up online and that one write-up honestly isn't that good of a write-up everyone's like oh no it's perfect it's not the pictures are whack they don't even tell you which way to put it on so I watched one video and he was fiddling with it and he kind of figured it out so I kind of copied his copy what I found from the write-up and did it ourselves unfortunately the driver's side caliper we got is missing clips so I can't even put the brake pads in there and I don't have brake lines yet but those are like easy things and the main part is actually mounting the caliper and the rotor but it looks pretty good so i do get a lot of questions of why i'm actually switching over to disc brakes and there's two main reasons one disc brakes are just a little bit more efficient than drum brakes are and two once i actually have wheels on here disc brakes look so much more appealing because they are drilled slotted rotors that are silver opposed to this and it looks better and they're more efficient and it's an overall better time So these mounts are actually very straightforward and this is all it is. It's a piece of steel welded to another piece of steel with some metal welded to it and some holes drilled in. It's simple, it's easy, and it's all you really need to know. So this is for the CIV and the CIV is different from the Han and if you go to their website and you take off your wheel bearing, you'll, you'll know what it looks like. It's, it's pretty straightforward. But the hardest part figuring out was how this actually goes on. And that's why I took a couple hours mounting and unmounting and doing this over and over again yesterday, just to figure out how this mount actually goes on. And it goes on, you, you would think with the, with the pretty letters and stuff it would go on, but it goes on like, let's say I'm the wheel bearing like this. And I'll show you guys here in just a second, but it goes on kind of upside down. So once you get that on, which is those four bolts, make sure it's sturdy. You just want to get your caliper and mount it on like you think a caliper would go. I am completely missing ske steps, steps, not skeps. You want to put your wheel nut back on, your wheel hub back on, and torque it down to, I believe it was 134 foot pounds of torque. And I don't know how important it is on this kind of bolt, but I do have a torque wrench, so I'm going to do it because it seems to be like, I think that one you want to torque down right. So I just made an interesting discovery, and I'm not sure if this is bracket fault, if this is hardware fault, if this is caliper fault, but for some reason, on my driver's side, everything fit perfectly of how it was supposed to. And I will show you, it looks like this. Now we have the caliper in, and we're having a bit of a clearance issue, if you can hear it. I guess you can't really hear it, but the back of it seems to be hitting the back of the caliper which is fine because we do have some clearance here and it also does have spacers included. So we will install one of the spacers on this side and that should fix the problem because it'll push it back. Yeah, that'll fix the problem. So this side is fine. For some reason, the caliper doesn't want to go on the other side. And it's weird because this caliper is missing its clips and the other one isn't. I don't know what's going on with this this caliper company, boys. Well, all we did was put a little spacer in there. You tighten the nuts behind there and um, it's still a little bit of issue rubbing, but we are getting there. It's a little bit of fine tuning here to fix this gap 
and I know I'll fix it. It's just gonna take a little bit of time to fine tune it. Something I'm learning is this, this kit isn't a complete like plug and play kit. It's, it's a conversion thing and should be easy, but the other one doesn't seem to be working as well. This one worked way better, but this caliper is missing pieces for some reason. So I'm waiting for the company to see if they will send me things. But I mean, this one's definitely a lot better than the other side. So I'm gonna keep finicking around with the other side and see if I can get it to work. But right now we have one side to work and that's good for now. After some wiggling, we got this one on. Same issue that I'm finding is it's connecting at the bottom of this caliper here. So I need to figure out how to adjust and push this back a little bit and then it would rotate completely free. But that's the issue I'm running into. But both calipers with the brackets are installed. They seem to be the correct way. I just gotta find a way to bring either the rotor out a little bit or push that part of the caliper back just so it doesn't have that rubbing issue. But other than that, very straightforward. It's just a little bit of like adjusting and finicking with it to make it actually work. But that is all it is. And honestly, they look so clean and I'm really pleased with that. So just after a little bit of fine tuning, they'll be good to go. And as I said, I'm not gonna be putting brake lines in today because I don't have brake lines. I have to make new ones for it. So I'm gonna have to make brake lines for this. I have to put the pads in still, so they'll be coming off again. But this was more of a mock-up than anything. And that is how they go. So I hope you guys can use this video as like a good instructional on how to do this because besides brake lines and pads this is what you got to do i will probably do more adjustments on them well i will do more adjustments on them if you guys want me to make a video on me actually adjusting them and getting that perfect fitment and perfect no scrape thing i can do that for you guys but otherwise i might just leave it and do it on my own time. So let me know what you guys think about that. But I hope this excites you because this is one step closer. We got more parts for the Civic in today and we are two boxes away from being able to put the motor in the car, I'm pretty sure. And that's exciting. Not running it, just getting it in there. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys could please give me a few things, comment, like, subscribe, keep doing you, stay motivated. I'll catch you guys next time. Peace out and peace.